All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula and we want to isolate one of the variables g. So I rewrote the problem here on the right hand side so it would be easier for us to solve. Now, this problem is exactly like how you would solve it with regular numbers, we are just using variables instead. Now, the first thing we want to do in order to isolate g would be to multiply, to get rid of this denominator, we're going to multiply r on both sides. So now we have r times f, which gives us r f equals g m n. All right, because these two cancel out. All right, so now we want to divide both sides by m n in order to get rid of the m n coefficients of g. So if we do this, we have r f divided by m n equals g because these two will cancel out. All right, so g equals rf divided by mn, and if we take a look here, that corresponds exactly with answer b. Now, if you decided to multiply rf and then write fr, which means exactly the same, right, because rf equals fr, and so if you find your answer to be a little bit different, they are actually equivalent because the rules of multiplication allow us to switch between the variables being multiplied. And so therefore, B will be our final answer.